Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. Today I'm going to do Metallica songs top 20. So I'm going to do what I think it wasn't, it took a little time to do it, but not that much time. So this is my list at the moment. I've done previously top 10 and I've updated top 10, but I'm doing a few more top 20s these days. Look, I've done, um, yeah, a couple of bands of top 20, but um, I've got my list. Um, should I, I did, might do some honourable mentions. Yeah, I might go um, uh, The Day That Never Comes. That's not on here on my top 20. Uh, Fuel's not on. The Memory Remains, things like that. Uh, what else? The Hero of the Days in here, which I liked a lot as a song. Until It Sleeps, which I considered. Um, uh, what else is this? Yeah, many Mama Said, and then you got um, Sad But True, I haven't got on here. Uh, what else haven't we got on here? Uh, one I haven't got. I mean, I like one, but um, I couldn't get it on the list. There you go. Um, battery is in here. So I've left a quite a few off. Um, it's only my list, guys. So um, take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's only my list. So these are the songs I, I like. It that they're my top twenty at the moment. Here it goes. I'm going to include Garage Inc. The um, the uh, compilation album, the triple album, which is a double CD. I'm going to include that. So coming at number twenty is from And Justice For All. Really good album, of course. The final track, a great thrash song, Dyer's Eve, number 20. Really like that one to finish off the album. So that's number 20. Number 19 from Master of Puppets. The title track, Master of Puppets, real good track, uh, has dropped it down my list lately, but I still like it a lot. Really good uh, thrash song, beautiful interlude in the middle of the song. So number 19 is Master of Puppets, the title track. Number 18, we're going to go to the Black Album. Real good album. Um, yeah, a big, huge album, still is these days, actually a huge album. So what have we got? Number 18, The God That Failed. Love that one. A great deep cut. Great bass in the beginning. Love the, the, the thick bass sound. Really good song. And a great sounding song and a great sounding album. But yeah, there it is. Number 18, The God That Failed. Number 17, a song I thought I had to have in there. Um, from Death Magnetic. All Nightmare Long, really good song. Love it, love how it sounds, it builds up and a, a good thrashing song. That is uh, number 17, All Nightmare Long. Number 16 is where I go to Garage Inc. What a catchy song this is. It's a great version. The lyrics are a bit, um, you know, X-rated, I guess, but um, or R-rated, whatever. It is... Uh, number 16, So What. Love that one. Great cover. And a good covers album, this one, of course. So that's number 16. So What. Number 15, I gave it a place in my top 20 because it's just a great song. Um, Enter Sandman, number 15. From the Black Album, of course. Number 14, Back to Garage Inc. And this, that song I just mentioned before, and this song are my two favourites from it. Uh, number uh, 14, Whiskey in the Jar. They really do a good song, a version. That's an old Irish song, a folk song, I think it is. And Thin Lizzy did it as well, but Metallica do a great job on it there. Yeah. So Whiskey in the Jar, number 14. Number 13, um, my favourite song from Kill Em All. Real catchy song, bouncy sort of thrashing song. Jump in the fire. There it is from Killer Mall, number 13. Number 12, I love this song. Number 13, love this song from, um, what is it, Load. The epic, the outlaw torn, the last track. 
great, great song. Really love it. That's from Load, of course. There it is. Um, number 11 from, let's find this thing, Reload. Uh, the Unforgiven 2, always love that one. Very catchy song. They did a video for it, it was on the radio and everything. Really good song, number 11. The, um, the Unforgiven 2, number 10 from Ride the Lightning. Needed, deserved to be in the top 10, no doubt. Fade to Black, what a great song. Great guitar solo from Kirk Hammett at the end of the song. Really uh, yeah, get your hair standing on your neck, that guitar solo, how, how it goes. Ends the song, really good one. Number 10, Fade to Black. Number nine from um, a song I love to death from um, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. I went for Spit Out the Bone. What a great thrush song, the last song on the album. Number eight now from And Justice For All. The title track, a real epic track, really great. Uh, riffs in this and drums from Lars Ulrich. Really great song. It's just under 10 minutes. Really love it. Really good song. Number eight, And Justice for All, the title track. Number seven, we stay with And Justice for All for Harvester of Sorrow. What an epic song. Uh, very um, slow, grungy sort of feel to it. Big, big chords in it. Uh, big riffs. Really good song. Uh, from uh, And Justice For All. Now, number six is a song I love. I love the middle guitar part and a very catchy song all the way through. Number six, I went for Ride the Lightning, the title track. Really, really good song. Number five now from... <coughs> uh, where are we at? Number five is from And Justice For All... The opening track, Black and I love that little intro, that that the intro to it, and the, it come, uh, you know, it crashes in, and a really good song. One of the standouts from Injustice for All, Black and Number Five, Number Four. We're going to um, where are we? Master of Puppets. We're going back to there. We're going to go Number Four. We're going to go Leper Messiah. Really uh, good groove to it. Love it. Always have. One of the best songs on the album, for, in my opinion. So, always love like Leopard Messiah at number four. Number three, we're going to stay with, um, we're going to stay with Master of Puppets. And for number th uh, three, that wonderful instrumental, Orion. Now, um, one of the, probably the best instrument, my favourite instrumental by anyone. Just love that. Um, I'm not an instrumental person, but um, certain instrumentals I love. That is one of them. Just takes you on a journey. It's got that uh, that uh, with the music. It's thrashy. It's slow. It's melodic. It's one of those sort of songs. Around eight minutes too, and it uh, it's uh, a song that's uh, a track that stays with you. Always loved it. Still love it now. So that is number three, Orion. Number two is from um, Ride the Lightning. I went for, nearly got the number one spot, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Great, great song. Very um, spine-tingling track, you could say. Got a big intro, and then uh, the vocals come in and really packs, uh, packs a punch, this song, a great song. Number two, For Whom the Bell Tolls. And number one, uh, I just can't get away from it. Number one is from... Ride the Lightning as well, Creeping Death. Great song, one of their epic uh, epic songs in their set list. They do quite a bit still. And uh, a great, great song. So that's number one, uh, Creeping Death. So I'll go through the list again. I know I've lost a lot of few great songs off, but what can you do? Number one, uh, Creeping Death for my top 20. Number two, for him, the bell tolls. Number three, Orion. Number four, Leper Messiah. Number five, Blacken. Number six, Ride the Lightning. Number seven, Harvester of Sorrow. Number eight, Angels for All. Number nine, Spit Out the Bone. Number 10, Fade to Black. Number 11, 
The Unforgiven 2, number 12, The Outlaw Torn, number 13, Jump in the Fire, number 14, Whiskey in the Jar, number 15, Inner Sandman, number 16, So What, number 17, All Nightmare Long, number 18, The God That Failed, number 19, Master of Puppets, and number 20, Dyer's Eve. There you go, guys. Put your top 20 down below, and there's many Metallica songs. Some big ones can miss out. Some lesser-known songs can get in. That's how it is with these lists, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye for now. Bye.